In this video, we're going to create vector style art with a photo in Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing you'll need to do is bring a photo into Adobe Illustrator. So the process for that is very simple. Go to File and Place, and then just select the image that you want to bring in. Now, if you click once with the image, it will put the whole size of the image in here, and sometimes that's way bigger than your canvas. So another thing you can do is when you place your image, you can just simply click and drag where you want the image to be. So if I start in this corner, I can click and drag. And this image is a little bit bigger than our canvas. I'll show you what to do about that. So um, we've got the image here. When the image is selected, you can crop the image by going to Crop Image here. And if you can't see this, you could just go to Object Crop Image. It's the same thing. Click OK. This is just telling you that it's going to embed a copy of the image in here and then you can just use the crop tool to set the sides for your image. Once you're done, hit enter, and now you have your image in Adobe Illustrator. Now the next thing we're going to do is create vector art, and we do that with this image trace right here, and you won't see these actions if your photo is not selected. So make sure you click on the photo, and if we go to image trace, a lot of the times you'll get a message, I'll just select one of these, that says that your image is basically too large or not too large but it's so large that it's going to render very slowly and so we don't need that high quality image anyway so what we can do about this is go over here with the image again selected go to object and rasterize and set the resolution to 72 ppi so that's just going to lower the quality of the image a little bit which is fine because we're turning it into something else anyway so now that we've done that we can go to image trace and select any of these. So I'll walk you through a couple ones and then I'll show you my favorite one. So if I hit three colors, it's going to make this image out of three colors, but in most cases that's not enough to completely show the image. So here's what six colors looks like. And then I'll show you 16 colors. Now my favorite setting of all time is low fidelity photo. I think this makes the best vector art out of photos. And you may be wondering what high fidelity photo looks like, and it actually doesn't look very good. So that's high fidelity photo. I feel like it shows too much detail. It just looks like a really low quality photograph. So low fidelity photo usually does a pretty good job at making art out of photos. And then a few other things you can do. If your computer is sort of choking on these images and taking a long time to load, once you have it exactly how you want it, you can click on the image and click expand. Now, once we do this, we won't be able to go through these presets, so make sure you've got it how you want it. Now, when I click expand, it just basically turns it into all the lines that Adobe Illustrator used to make this image. So what that does is allows you to move the image and resize it and play around with it without the computer rendering the image every single time. So in this case, my computer's not having much trouble with low fidelity, and this sort of thing so it doesn't really matter if you do that but then all you have to do is export this photo so that is how you create vector style art with photos in adobe illustrator thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video